Sorry I'm late, Mr. Space Tree. Well, you should be sorry, Ellen. Uh, where's Space Tree? I don't know. I didn't leave him in the desert somewhere. Geez, the first day of semester and he doesn't even show up. Yep, what a lazy piece of crap, huh? Well, I'll be substituting for him today. Really? What do you know about teaching? Well, I know more than Space Tree, I'll tell you that much. All he does up here is talk about triangles or something. I could do that. It's just like, Oh, triangles are pointy, so you better watch out or... Wait, wait, wait. Is that your Space Tree impression? Well, I'm still kind of working on it. Well, it needs more of a barkish quality to it. You know, because he's covered in bark. Right. So it's kind of like... Space Tree is coming down the stairs. You know, it's kind of like that. Yeah, that's pretty close to his voice, but you don't really have the right accent. It's more like... Hello, did you s I'm a big idiot from space. Mamma mia, my spaghetti bolognese. You know what I mean, Ellen? It's more like that. What? Ah, uh, he's right behind you, Commander. Yeah, right. Like anything that obvious and cliched would ever really happen. <laughs> and besides, if that fat ass of a tree stumped up behind me, I think I'd be able to hear his fat- Commander! <laughs>three weeks I've spent on that desert thanks to you, and now I get back and I hear you telling people that I was planted there by a mirage? What the fuck? Heh, <laughs> I like the part where you kick the keys out of my hand. Shut up! Why the hell did you plant me there in the first place? Eh, I thought it'd be kinda of funny. Oh really? Well you know what else is funny? Potato chips? Midgets? Oh yeah, can I change my answer to midgets? No, what's funny is me kicking Commander Planty McDesert off my ship. Ha ha! That's not funnier than midgets. I'm sorry, Space Tree, but I'm afraid that's not possible. Oh, really? Because I've got some kicking boots here with your name on them. Because I stole them from your room. You see, Space Tree, being that I'm only 17 years of age, when I moved into this ship, you became my legal guardian. And by kicking me off the ship, you'd be violating Space Guardian Law, thus leaving yourself open to prosecution. Ha <laughs> ha, now that's what is funny. Ugh. <sighs> Well, I may not be able to kick you out, but I can expel you from the class, so congratulations, you're expelled. Ha ha. You too, Ellen. Well, I just assumed. Once again, you are wrong, my friend. Space law clearly states that expulsion requires at least one class notice before it takes effect. Jeez, where'd you get that friggin' space law book? Fine, we'll finish this class, and then that's it for you two. Let's see how far you get without an education, huh? Now I'm just gonna pass out over here. I still got a lot of sand in my lungs. So what should we do now, then? Well, I bought my computer. Yeah. Check out this awesome website I found. Alright. I'm just gonna log in first. Logging on to internet! <coughs> now logged on to internet! Okay, we're in. <laughs> Check this out. This website lets you shoot people with a laser beam anywhere in space. What? No way. Really? Check this out. I don't think... <laughs> ah, okay, that was supposed to hit Space Tree, but, uh, you get the idea. Well, let me try. Ah, okay, that's my other arm. Now let's just be careful now. <laughs> well, nice going. That was my birthday computer. That was awesome, man. I can't believe this kind of thing is legal. Well, it's not really. The government's been trying to ban this thing for months. But the man can't touch me so long as my modem here is equipped with this state-of-the-art protection chip. Hey, wait a minute. Uh, you didn't see a green rectangle anywhere around here, did you? What, you mean my bookmark? Well, that's great. That's the protection chip, you asshole. Now it's worthless. Well, I needed something to mark the page with the Guardian Law. You think I know anything about this crap otherwise? Anyway, all we did was shoot you a couple times, like anyone cares about that. Everything is gonna be all right. Nothing bad is gonna happen to us at all. Oh. Yeah, you see what happens when you mess with me? <laughs> what? This had nothing to do with you. It was all Alan's fault. Shut up, I don't even have any arms. Come on, Space Tree, you gotta break us out of here. Yeah, right, I'm not helping you. Have fun in prison. Wait a second, do I need to remind you of the Guardian Laws, Dad? Don't call me that. And another thing, Space Tree, this whole situation happened while we were attending one of your classes. So you were responsible for both of us. Yeah, th that's right. And if we told the warden this kind of information, you could be the one behind these bars with us. Ah, uh, fine. I guess I have no choice. Space Tree will organize a prison break. 
Why don't you just say? Uh, Space Tree will organize a prison cake. Oh. A cake with a nail file in it, right? So that then we can break out, like you were just saying? <laughs> oh, my eye!